I just want to get these walks back. This is not like hanging with this, this is like, this is only really guys in class that follow me on this. So, this is like for the guys that are not here that I just want to show this to. Yeah, so just like we've been working on here, so this double collar grip, going to pull downwards so that it starts to pull a head down. Yeah, and then I get to straighten my arms and put my weight on top this way. So, you can see already that the weight, that my weight, it's actually affected Helen's base. Yeah, so I'm gonna put my head down into here and hit the roll so she falls between my legs this way. So I pull down on this right collar, so I pull on the right collar so I can put in the right hook. The left hand, let's go, grabs hold of the wrist this way and then the leg is gonna circle up and over the top. It um, talks about playing guard against people's backs rather than against the front. This is like sort of going to like a mission control position, but against the back, controlling their arms instead of controlling like the head. So all I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna pull this foot round until it hooks under Helen's butt. Then I can take this arm out. Yeah, from here, because I've got this under hook here and the collar and this arm trapped, I've got the hook inside so she can't move really. I should be able to hold this position when she can't escape. Try to escape it, keep me honest. Should be really difficult for her to escape. So again, this hand is gonna punch across. It's gonna fold it over. So I can go for the choke, get in the Cabrini grip this way. My hand is going to close a circle with my head like I've been doing out of the juicy fix stuff. And then again, the finish of the choke is to curl my forearm up into a neck and forward pressure with the shoulder. So you're getting this here. So if you notice like the control position, this arm is completely stuck. My foot is hooked underneath the block, so it's completely anchored in place. This arm is not moving because I've completed my circle. And this is, but before I completed the circle, this is the hand that's fed the collar then complete the circle and then I can complete the chirp. Okay, one more time. Just so you can see the flow of it. So I'm into position here, work this, pull the head down, straighten the arms, just transfer my weight up onto the back a little bit more, head down and roll, so she falls between my legs. Pull down the right side, put the hook in. Let go of the collar, drop the hand, go mission control against this arm. Guide the foot down until it can anchor on the butt, on the bottom of the back. This hand comes out. I get to test the position. So I have a good grip, good control. This hand digs across and I start to work to this choke position. The good thing about this is that if Helen manages to escape her leg under the hook, the leg that's actually underneath the butt lifts up and it just drops her straight into a regular crucifix position. So you're going from a modified crucifix into a traditional crucifix. Okay? There you go. Yes!